Okay, we're continuing our study uh, about the will, knowing the will of the Father in prayer. And um, it's one of the things that I want to uh, go into again is, and to repeat, is the fact is that uh, uh, the will of the Father is revealed through His Word. Uh, you cannot know our Creator, Yahuwah, apart from His Word. The Bible is the revelation of who the Father is. Um, and the, the Mashiach, the Messiah, he, he said that uh, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. So when you, when you go through and study the scriptures and, and say it doesn't matter whether it's the Tanakh or the Old Testament or the New Testament, um, you, you will get a revelation or the understanding of who the Creator is and what His will is. Uh, we've talked about the fact that the will of the Father is that all men be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. That's his will. But just because it's his will doesn't mean it's going to happen. It, it, it means that uh, the, the, uh, as far as what the Creator's desire is for mankind is that they be saved. Now, the, then it shifts to, to you and I, whether a person um, believes that or not will be determined their eternal destiny, whether they believe what the scripture has to say. Uh, if you refuse to believe what the scripture says, then uh, you're outside of, of Yahuwah being able to help you. You have to believe what he says. That's what the scripture says about, you know, without faith, it's impossible to please him. You know, it doesn't say in the, in the, in the scriptures that without works, it's impossible to please him. It says it's without faith, it's impossible to please him. That's because, uh, you know, no one will be able to stand before our creator and declare his own righteousness or his own good works should gain his acceptance before the creator. Again, because uh, you cannot save yourself. You have to, you needed a savior. If you could save yourself, then you wouldn't have needed the Messiah, Mashiach, to die on a cross and pay the, the price and penalty for your sins and be raised again for your justification. If you could just earn your way into heaven, then you would not, you know, like I said, need a savior, but you could uh, just live a good moral life. And uh, But that's not what the scripture teaches. Um, that's the biggest deception in the world today is that people believe that if they live a good moral life, that, they, that all people go to heaven who live a good moral life. But the, the problem with that is they don't accept what the creator has said about all men uh, have sinned to come short of his glory and that that unless a man is born again or born from above he'll not enter the kingdom of Yahuwah that's because you have a sin nature we we've we're in this fallen state and we need to be born again and the only way you can do that is by believing what the scripture has to say that uh, you're a sinner and you have need of a savior and uh, he has sent, Yahuwah has so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him has everlasting life. And then it says, he that believeth not is condemned, uh, but he that, he that believeth shall have everlasting life. So, you know, the choice is yours. Uh, he's already made provision for your salvation. Now, there's other things that we've talked about that uh, there's, that Yahuwah has done for us and revealed his will to us and made provision for us, uh, and that provision of divine healing. We talked about the fact is that it's the will of the Yahuwah that all sick people be healed, but we know that that surely isn't happening just because it's his will. Uh, there, we have a part to play in that. We have a part to believe what he has to say. Now, uh, we're going to go into some more uh, scriptures talking about the will of the Father concerning divine healing. Uh, it's Acts 10.38 says how Yahuwah anointed Yahusha of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Yahusha went about how Yahuwah anointed Yahusha, who went about doing good and healing all, notice it says all, that were oppressed of the devil. You'll not find one scripture 
where the Messiah Mashiach turned anybody that was sick away and, and stating that it wasn't his will to heal them. He healed the sick. He healed all that came to him for healing. He healed them because that was his will to do so. Um, and his will has not changed in that regard. It's still his will uh, that the sick be healed. You know, we pray the, the what people call the Lord's Prayer, but actually it's, you know, <laughs> Is the word Lord is, as we've already talked about in my past videos, is is a substitution for the Creator's name, Yahuwah. So, but concerning what people, most people refer to as the Lord's Prayer, uh, Mashiach was uh, was teaching his disciples. They, they asked them to teach us to pray, and then, of course, he uh, led them in what we refer to. A lot of people refer to as the Lord's Prayer. But in that prayer, he says, "Father, your will be done." in earth as it is in heaven. Now, we know that that's the Father's will, that it be done on earth as it is in heaven. Well, it's not that way now, but it's his will that it be that way. It's his will that, that uh, you be in health and, and, and prosper and be in health, as the scripture declares, and uh, he's made provision for that. But again, it doesn't automatically happen just because it's his will. You have to... Uh, Partake, believe that, and then act upon that in order to receive the results of that. Isaiah chapter 53, verses 4 and 5 declares that surely Yahusha has bore our sicknesses and carried our diseases, our pains. Um, he, Yahusha, has carried and bore our sickness. Uh, if you look up the Hebrew word as far in your English translations, it says, surely he has borne our griefs which is a bad uh, translation of that word. Now, it could be, see, a lot of words can have more than one meaning, especially in Hebrew. There's a lot of words that have more than just one particular meaning. And the word there in the Hebrew is actually should have been translated as sickness because that's what it really says. The Messiah, Mashiach, he bore our sicknesses and carried our pains or our diseases. He has carried them. And he carried them so you and I would not have to carry them. In fact, to support that, if you look up Matthew chapter 8, <clears throat> verse 17, uh, uh, quoting from the book of Isaiah, or Yasha, Yahu is, is Isaiah's real name in Hebrew, it says that Matthew chapter 8, verse 17 says, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet Isaiah, or Yasha Yahu, himself, talking about the Mashiach, bore our sicknesses and carried our diseases. Now he did that for us. He did the, didn't do that for himself. He carried the sickness in his body on the tree for, for our benefits that we could be free of sickness and disease. And so once you find out what the will of the Father is, that he uh, is the will that you be healed, then you can have faith for that the moment that you understand that. But if you, if you have in your thinking that it may not be his will that I be healed, you'll never be able to pray the prayer of faith. Because again, the prayer of faith is based upon knowledge. It's the base, based upon knowledge of what you know. And if you know that it's the will of the Father to heal you, and that he's made provision for you, then you can receive based upon what knowledge that you have. That's what it's all about. Faith in his word and acting upon that. Faith without works is dead. And that's, again, what I've said about this is a works of faith. Your works demonstrate <clears throat> you know, your faith of what you believe. We'll pick this up on our next uh, session together. And thank you again for your support. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Share this with others and with your friends on Facebook. And until next time. May Yahuwah continue to bless you and prosper you in all that you do. Shalom.